Hey guys. Yay. It's coffee chat time. How are you? <clears throat> it is currently like minus 47 here, minus 47 degrees Celsius with the wind chill. Um, I'm just going to look up the latest weather. So it's the temperature is minus 36. Hi, Jen. And it feels like minus 46 with the wind chill. So I am in my cozy hoodie and I have two care as I was out doing chores this morning. And this is me. You know, it's really interesting. I used to think that, yay! <laughs> I used to think or have the point of view that to do Facebook Live videos or to do any sort of videos, I should always have makeup on, I should always have my hair done properly, and I should always look presentable. I think I, like, that's really interesting. Those are a lot of points of view that I had. <laughs> And so I used to judge myself and I'd be like, oh, I'm not really ready to do my live, but I said I would do it. So I'm just going to go on and hi, Helen. Oh my God. I got the best spaghetti squash ever yesterday from Helen. Um, okay. There's so many things I want to talk about. <laughs> okay. So let's go to the spaghetti squash. So yesterday I, uh, Travis and I, my husband and I, are following a keto diet again and I wanted to make meat sauce and spaghetti for supper last night. Now spaghetti is not keto but you can have spaghetti squash. So I'm like well I'm going to town I'll just pop into the grocery store and see if they have any spaghetti squash and they didn't and that was okay and I was literally I was just gonna leave the store and not have spaghetti squash and then I no, Helen is this amazing lady who works there. I know her, and she's really good friends with my mom. Um, she And she does the produce area. She looks after that. And I'm like, well, Helen is here today. Maybe I should go back and ask her. Maybe there's some in the back room that I don't know about. So I wandered back there, and I'm like, hey, Helen, is there any spaghetti squash? And she said no. But Helen had a spaghetti squash at her house that she gave to me. So I just had to stop in and pick it up on my way home and it was delicious and I actually just finished the leftovers for lunch. So thank you for that, Helen. So on to my point of view. If I had the point of view, this is just an example, if I had the point of view that I didn't wanna bother anybody in the grocery store, I would not have asked Helen about the spaghetti squash and I would not have had spaghetti squash last night. So I don't know, some of you are in the challenge with me and we've been doing interesting point of view. I have this point of view. It's a 30 day challenge. We are on day nine and it is changing a lot for me. It's really making clear the areas of my life where I function from point of view. And after I got the spaghetti squash yesterday, I was like, just noticed, wow, if I had a point of view that I was gonna be bothering Helen, I wouldn't have asked her for the spaghetti squash and I wouldn't have gotten it. So I was not willing, you know, I didn't have the point of view. So I asked her and I got the spaghetti squash. How does it get any better than that? <clears throat> um, okay, where else was I going? Oh, about being presentable. And then I'm like, fuck it. This is me. I do not wear makeup every day. Um, you know, my hair is often in a ponytail. It's not always done up. And sometimes I am. And this is me. So I got over the points of view I had, and I'm like, this is me. Ah, you are chatting with me. Um, so I actually had a question sent in that I'm just going to read. Okay, so my aha moment this morning. I was playing a game on my phone. And when I won a difficult level, I got a fear response. <clears throat> I stopped and asked, why am I having a fear response to winning? I then heard all you amazing facilitators ask, is it fear or is it excitement? And I got that it was fear for me. So I asked, what is this? And I got that I can't handle what might happen next. I interesting point of view to all of that and destroyed and uncreated. Huge. How does it get any better than that? Okay, so 
There's a few things with fear. Okay, so she won a difficult level. Now let's just kind of, I'm going to extrapolate around that. So she received something that she was asking for, winning the difficult level, that maybe she had a point of view about that she couldn't actually do, or that it would maybe be harder than it was, and she did it. So she's been in the interesting point of view challenge with me, and she won the level, and then this fear energy came up for her. Now, when fear comes up for you, um, I would challenge you to ask the question, truth, is this fear or is this excitement? Now, if you get fear, and by what I mean get, if it is light for you that you are actually scared about something, okay, cool, so what is that? What are you really scared of? Um, sometimes, because she's gone on to a new level and it's going to be harder, maybe she has the point of view that it's going to be harder and she's scared that she won't be able to handle it. When we are changing things in our lives, when we are going beyond where we are comfortable being, we are in unknown territory. We don't actually know and we are not in our predictable pattern anymore. So fear can come up because it's unknown. And sometimes the unknown can be exciting because so many possibilities become available. Okay, so are you willing to go beyond the fear and into the fear and discover what that is? Or are you going to, when the fear comes, are you going to let that stop you and not even try the next level? <laughs> so everything that brings up for you, I'm going to use the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pog, shorts, boys and beyonds. And those words are an energetic magic wand that clear the energy of what was up for you. And if you would like more information about that, you can go to theclearingstatement.com. And I'm really moving my head around a lot today while I'm talking, and I don't know why. I just am. Maybe I like seeing my ponytail move. <laughs> and this is me. I'm such a dork. Um, okay. Interesting point of view. I have that point of view. Um, so going into the unknown can be scary. It can be fear that we think. Now, another thing that can come up with fear is fear can be a distractor implant and fear can be a distraction of what's really available for you beyond, or fear can be a distraction of what you can actually handle. And so, so it's just, when fear comes up, it's asking a question. So truth, is this a distractor implant that's distracting me from the power and the possibilities that are actually available to me? So if you get a yes, now when I say if you get a yes, that means does yes pop into your head first? Do you smile? Does that feel true for you? Or do you get a no where it's like, no, that's ridiculous. That's not really true for me. I'm actually really scared. Okay, cool. But if you get a yes that it is a distractor implant, then I would challenge you. Now, one way to change an energy is to be present with it. Is to be present with it. To not turn away from it. To not shut down. To not put up barriers to it. But to be present with it. So if it is fear that's showing up for you and you ask the question that it's a distractor implant, then would you be willing to be present with that distraction? And presence will change energy. Would you be willing to not avoid it? And would you be willing to discover what's beyond the fear? So some people might be scared of flying, for example, like flying on an airplane. And their fear can be legitimate. Their fear can be from maybe past lifetimes where they died in a plane crash, or maybe that is also their awareness telling them not to go on that airplane. There's, there's a few different things that if you, when you start asking yourself questions and when you can get clarity on what the information is you're getting, then you can start to choose. So... I'm scared to get on this airplane. Truth, is that a distractor implant? Yes. Is it a point of view that I have about airplanes? 
Yes. Okay. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Interesting point of view. I'm distracting myself with fear. Everything that is, will you just try and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and yons. Now, sometimes when you set foot on that airplane, you can travel into another beautiful place of the world and experience and receive amazing possibilities. But if you're not actually really willing to have that in your life, then you can say, and you can use fear as a distraction. I'm scared of flying. I'm not going. Nope. No way. Okay, cool. So you are maintaining your predictable reality and you're maintaining being comfortable. It's also not comfortable. It's funny. I'm talking about airplanes. It's also not comfortable sitting on an airplane with so many people. And one of the things with that is you are so aware of all of the thoughts, feelings, and emotions of everyone around you. And sometimes being in that awareness is not comfortable and you would rather avoid it. And that's okay. And there's tools you can use to have more ease with that. Like who does this belong to? Is this really mine? Energetically expanding out. Yeah. So the beautiful lady who sent me this question, who noticed that fear came up for her when she passed a difficult level and she didn't know what was going to happen, so that brought up fear. So truth, is fear a distractor implant for you in that case? And is fear distracting you and keeping you from jumping into the unknown pool, ocean of possibilities infinite possibilities where everything you ask for you can receive and is fear is this fear also covering up the potency of you you know and did you tap into that potency of being and knowing when you passed that difficult level and you showed yourself that you can handle it hey bobby and you that you can handle it. And maybe you asked to pass this difficult level. Hi, Lori. Hey, guys. Um, ask and receive is a potent, is a potency, it's a superpower. And did the fear show up so it would cover up the potency that you have and that you be with asking and receiving? And then you're into the unknown. <laughs> and that can bring up fear. Ah, okay, lovely, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you have weekly questions that you would like to send into, into me for me to talk more about or a show topic, I would love to have that. So you can um, sign up for my email list. I will put the link in the description of this video. And you all just join me as I'm finished up. I'm finding these coffee chats are only about... 10 to 15 minutes long and after that I'm kind of babbling <laughs> so I hope you're all staying warm anybody all of you that are in Saskatchewan or any place other than Saskatchewan that's cold and um, thank you for you and have an amazing rest of your day and bye bye for now